You can add and manage maxes and test data in Team Builder uh, by going to Workout Tools and going down to maxes slash PRs. Now when I get to this page, the first thing I'll do is explore how to add new data uh, on this page. On the left hand side, you'll see a little plus sign and that means that you can add data into Team Builder. So we can choose an exercise type such as a lift, speed, agility, quickness, and cardio, circuit, and the health data includes body weight, body fat, and resting heart rate. So in this example, I'll choose a lift and then I'll choose the back squat. So if I choose back squat, the next thing I'll do is choose who to add data for. We can choose a single athlete, we can do it by group, we can do it by calendar. In my case, I'll choose group and I'll choose football. Once I hit submit, I'll, be, uh, I'll look at this table of athletes. Uh, your table might be much longer than mine. Um, but the first thing to do is, is to determine whether you want to set these entries as the current max. If I check this box, it means that all the data I put in today will be the training max for the athlete going forward. The next box is called lock maxes. Now, as you might know, we have a formula that will raise or change the max of an athlete um, depending on their performance in the weight room, such as a working set. Um, if I lock the max, it means it turns the formula off. It will essentially hold that max in place. Now, keep in mind, the formula will continue to generate formulated 1RMs, but the training max will stay put. In this case, I'll leave that off and I'll go ahead and make these entries a current max. Of course, I can just type the 1RMs uh, into the weight column. And then also, if you're doing multi-rep testing, you can just type in however many number of reps that they got, the weight, and then we'll combine this uh, into a 1RM using our formula. So if you hit submit, that will go ahead and log the data for the athletes. Now you can do this on a computer or a tablet in the weight room. It kind of skips a step, if you will, of recording data uh, and storing it in the database. Now, um, you can view athlete maxes by just clicking this person icon. If you just choose an individual, you can uh, get a list of all their exercises, but to kind of clean up this list, if you check all exercises into maxes only, it will only render exercises that have a max for it. So if I go to barbell back squat, you'll see this chart over time. This is a pretty dense chart. Uh, we list all the data points in the table. You can set any entry as a max. You can archive any max. And then you can also view the workout where the max took place. Um, lastly, you can add new records here. You can lock the max for an individual here. And then you can manage all the past maxes here as well. Now, the last thing I'll cover is the uh, settings here. So you can reset maxes uh, on this page. The only thing I would say is just be aware that if you reset the maxes, um, what it's going to do is it's going to just uh, wipe out everyone's max uh, in, in terms of their training max. It resets it to zero, but their historical data um, will all be uh, intact. It'll be in place. If you archive the maxes, you're actually just taking all that historical 1RM data and you're archiving it. You're just kind of throwing it away. So uh, note that reset maxes is different than archive. Archiving gets rid of historical data. Reset just turns everyone's current max into nothing but keeps that historical data. So that's a little bit about the maxes and PRs page and how to add and edit maxes going forward.